Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and I'm going to be featuring one of my all-time favorite palettes. This was a collaboration with Morphe Cosmetics with Jaclyn Hill. She is another beauty blogger here on YouTube and I wanted to use this palette again because it is one of my favorites and it was a very inexpensive palette. Now the palette in question is this palette. It looks like this and it has an array of colors and I just, I seriously love like I love this palette. It has all the warm tones I like. Of course it has the purples that I'm always in love with. It has the oranges. Like it has every color that I think you would need for various amounts of eyeshadow looks. Just get real creative with it. So I'm going to be giving out one of these palettes on my blog. I'll have the direct link to that giveaway in the description box where you guys can enter to win your own palette. And without further ado, we are going to jump into today's tutorial. Alright guys, as always, I will have all the products used listed on my blog. So we're going to jump into today's tutorial. I'm going to be using my MAC NW40 Concealer to set and clean up my brows. And then I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Setting Powder. And I'm using this to set the concealer under my eyes. And then we're going to use the Morphe Palette. I'm going in with this warm brown. And I'm going to apply this to my crease with a large fluffy brush. Then I'm going to go into this palette and I'm going to take this dark purple. It does have a little bit of metallic shimmer to it and I'm just going to lightly build this color up. Next I'm going into that same palette and I'm going to wet my brush with Fix Plus and this is going to also make the eyeshadow more intense and I'm going to carve out my lid. I like to make my eyes look a little bit larger than what they are. And then I'm going to go in with this liquid liner by Sephora. And this is the Sephora brand, so the color is just black, but the number is number one. So I'm going to be incorporating some new products. I'm going to be using this Pixie Glow Booster, and I'm going to add this to my facial primer, and this is just going to give my skin a nice glow. And I'm also going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm going to be using that with a Sigma buffing brush. I'm going to also take concealer by Too Faced and I'm going to highlight today. I'm not going to be doing too much contouring but I'm going to show you how I achieve a contour without applying contour cream. I'm going to buff this in with a NYX brush and I do wet my brushes because I think it helps to kind of buff out the product and it doesn't just sit on the skin. Now to set my highlight, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup Powder and I'm going to use my sponge by Pure Cosmetics. I actually wet my sponge today which was new for me and I did like the way that this came out as well. And this is how I achieve my contour. I just like to add a little bit of dimension and I do that by applying a lighter highlighting shade and then once you buff that away, you kind of see a shadow that was created. Then I'm going to take my Becca pore perfecting powder and I'm going to apply this all over my face. So now that I finished complexion I'm going to go back in and finish my eyes. I'm going to take that warm brown and I'm going to also take that purple that we used in the crease and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take this pink shade and I'm going to add that to my brow bone as a subtle highlight and I'm also going to take another small brush and I did wet this brush and I'm going to apply that same pinky shimmer color to my inner tear duct. I'm also going to take a black eyeliner and this is by Butter London and I'm just going to apply that to my waterline. I'm also going to take another Pixi product which was a blush and I'm going to apply a little bit of that to my cheeks as well. Then I'm going to go in with Blunt which is what I use for a contour powder and this is also going to warm my face back up and apply that. I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and then I'm going to take my lip liner. This is Cork by MAC and I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to take my favorite nude by Revlon and apply that. And I wanted to give this look a little more color so I decided to go in with this Pixie Lip Gloss and it just has a tinge, a small undertone of purple. Then I'm going to go in with this highlighter by Makeup Forever which is the bomb. It's like an iridescent pink and I'm just going to apply that to the top of my lip and then I'm going to also do a little bit of highlighting as well. I'm going to apply some Fix Plus to my face but then I'm going to also take my mascara and put that on my waterline. When I do this I notice that the mascara is separates a lot better and I just love the result.
Alright guys, so that's it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button and share with your friends. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial.